Hello, day 18 of the TFN Health Challenge. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about why you should not be taking weight loss pills. In today's world, we are quick to look for the quick fix to our problems, whether it be muscle enhancements, fat burning pills, anxiety medication, etc. The list goes on. At Top Fitness and Nutrition, we offer you the healthiest way to get in better shape. We understand that it's a long term game and the results all depend upon the changes you make to improve your habits. Over this 21 day challenge, I've given you a solid base of information to think about when improving your health. We want to progressively work on these habits with you to encourage lifestyle changes and keep you healthy for the long term. Here are some reasons you should not rely on weight loss pills to lose weight. Number one, you don't learn anything in the process. This important factor is often overlooked by people looking for quick results. Hey, I get it, you wanna boost your self esteem, but you know what? That isn't going to do any good if the process isn't a learning experience that will change your lifestyle for the better. So what we want to do is get familiar with our bodies. We want to get to the point where we have increased our awareness so much that we know what has caused our energy to crash or what food has caused our bloating and the list goes on. We want to build a positive relationship between our mind and body. A relationship that is founded on understanding is essential for transitioning into a healthier lifestyle. We want you to get so knowledgeable about how your body reacts to food that you'll know how you'll feel before you even eat a meal. Now, we can't pinpoint exactly how we will respond. There are many factors that come into play, such as stress levels, sicknesses, and more. However, on average, you want to view weight loss as an experiment on your body and constantly reevaluate how certain foods are affecting you. No two people respond to the same foods exactly the same. The problem that happens when you take weight loss pills is you are completely taking your will out of the equation and putting all the credit on the magic pill to do its work for you. You'll soon realize that taking the pill without any changes to your diet or exercise routine is not going to be effective. It may have slight improvements while you are taking the pills, but as soon as you're off of them, you will start gaining weight again. You want to change your habits first and lose weight the natural way. Then, after a few months of going the natural route and you get accustomed to your body and how the foods react, and you can consider additional weight loss supplements to help enhance your process. But even this is not recommended, but I do understand there are some useful weight loss prescriptions that you can get from your care provider so all accounts aren't totally out of the equation. The main thing that people don't realize about over-the-counter weight loss pills instead of the prescription pills is most of the over-the-counter pills are just caffeine but the companies label the bottle as trimethylxanthine which is just a scientific name for caffeine they do this to make their product seem special like it's something that is magical for burning fat in all reality that's all hype and that's really good marketing Number two reason why you should not be taking weight loss pills is you're going to be wasting money. You're going to spend at least $30 on a bottle of pills for slight short-term improvement with little long-term benefits. And number three, you're putting your body's health at risk. If you do end up taking weight loss pills after a few months of diet and exercise changes, which I still don't recommend you take any, but hey, if you do, you want to stay away from any products that are highly caffeinated. Products like Fentamine and Hydroxycut are two examples of highly caffeinated weight loss supplements that are li linked with serious health issues. Taking these can lead to overdose on caffeine and increased heart palpations. Also, chemical reactions can happen in the liver and heart in people with underlying conditions. Now, not all weight loss pills are bad. Some people have great results, but you really want to understand your body before taking anything. Too many people put their trust in these companies and come to find out that the health claims were not pertaining to their circumstances with their diet. And